Colorado Springs is consistently ranked one of the best places to live in the country. And in the last year, the Springs has also received attention for being one of the fastest growing cities for entrepreneurs. Many here at home have turned to becoming their own boss and making their ideas become a reality. Hello there. Hey. How are you? Good. Good. I'll do the snickerdoodle with chocolate. All right. Lori Morrissey started her ice cream sandwich truck business last year. Will you enjoy that? Appreciate it. Yeah. She's always made cookies, and when the pandemic hit, she started virtual baking classes. And how do you feel about sprinkles today? Um, I discovered that I really wanted to be out with people. Of course, we all did at that point, but even more so to get people also out together and building community, um, and that somehow I, could, I just needed to get my cookies to be a part of that. So her business was born, giving people a sweet treat. Confetti, you enjoy. And a sweet reason to come together. It's my mom's favorite, it's called the Anne. Morrissey says the pandemic made her realize she wanted to do more of what she loved. For me, it was an opportunity to kind of take stock of what was really important around me. And I realized, okay, wait, the people in my life are what's really important. My, I wanted future Lori to look back and, and, and be really thankful for the work that I did. Morrissey is one of hundreds in Colorado to start her own business amid the pandemic. And then you go through like this. It's something the Pikes Peak Small Business Development Center says happens during tough times or people turning to their own business ideas. I think there's a couple reasons people are really embracing the entrepreneurial lifestyle. Steve Emke helps people starting up their own businesses. He teaches these seminars for people entering the world of entrepreneurship. Every time there's a problem, there's a a solution that you can fill that gap. And so people are experiencing problems at an unprecedented rate right now. Between economic uncertainty and so many parts of our lives changing because of the pandemic, it's given people a way to make their ideas come to life. It used to be that you had to create something of mass appeal to be able to get into it. Today we live in what I call the long tail economy. And you, you can find a very small slice of that small tail, and you'd be the only one in that particular industry. It's so scary, but it's so exciting. For Ashley Reese, she's getting back to starting a business she wanted to get up and running a few years ago. I cannot believe I did not go this route before. The pandemic, part of the reason she believes others like herself are getting into entrepreneurship. Financial stability. You know, so being able to make those decisions for yourself is important. I think uh, there's a lot of us out there that are, are not business owners yet that sort of have that bug. Russ Ware was in a similar position about a decade ago. He now owns several businesses such as Wild Goose Meeting House and Epiphany in downtown Colorado Springs. Really saw potential. We really felt like we were at the front end of something and we were right. As someone who's been an entrepreneur, he has some advice for new business owners. This is what you really believe in and want to do. Go for it. Hey, you got it. For people like Morrissey. She hopes by pursuing her passion, she's able to not only do what she loves, but create a space for people to come together. I have this passion and I have the time now to think about how that might pan out and maybe could support me enough financially to be able to do the thing that I really have always wanted to do. And on KOAA.com, we're breaking down the number of new businesses in Colorado over the past couple of years and when we saw the highest number of new businesses popping up. Allison Zimmerman, News 5.